Look, the best exercise for your lagging body part is not the one that you're doing for it. How do you know that? That's a big deal. Huh? You know what it is, is that uh, we there are – here's a challenge with lagging body part. First of all, it's challenging because it's a body part that doesn't respond like the rest of your body. We all have that, right? Yeah. But the challenge is – Glutes are a very common one. They are, except for you. Your, yeah, your glutes well, respond I, exceptionally I'm well. I'm the exception. The problem is that we, we have a lagging body part, and then we pick – what's typically known as the best exercise for that lagging body part. And then we keep doing that exercise and it's not working. And we're like, what's going on? Not realizing that there are muscle recruitment patterns. There are ways that muscles fire and connect to many of these exercises, most of them being compound lifts. And so we keep doing them and we keep developing the wrong muscle groups. Like for example, I'll use an easy one, right? Let's say your chest is a body part that's lagging. And you're like, well, bench press. Bench press is a great exercise for chest. And you keep benching, and you keep benching, not realizing that you're benching a lot with your shoulders and triceps. And so those develop really well. Chest never really catches up, but because you're stubborn about it and doing the same exercise over and over again, nothing's working, it's like a mystery. Why the hell isn't my lagging body part responding? I think this is like a, a single topic episode because it's – I think it's more nuanced, right? I think there's a lot more things. There's a lot that, to it. Yeah, that could be potentially going on, right? I, I would agree that a majority of people, it's uh, a poor exercise selection. I also think just the uh, attention to it. One, one of the, the biggest things that I think made a difference in my lagging body parts was prioritizing it in the workout and in, and in the week, right? So, like, for yeah. example... As a, as a young kid that was lifting, like when I would lift in the past, I would, and you know, because everybody is consistent, and then we all have our moments where you fall off for a little bit. If I fell off and I returned, I always returned starting back up with the the muscle groups I loved. It's favorite never, one. Yeah, yeah, my favorite one, the, and the ones I'm stronger or more developed because you like to do that, and you'd never miss that one. But the ones that were lagging or that I hated to train, I never, and that. When you've been lifting for a long time, that con that starts to compound. It makes a big difference. And simply going, okay, if I fall off for a week or or even a few days, and when I go back, you just I always start back. And I started doing that. Like so, even when you have like a let's say um, a four day break, you have like let's say you have a routine where you're training four or five days a week consistently for a long time, and you don't miss very long, but you just miss four days. You know, technically, most people would probably just keep pick up right where the routine is. I wouldn't. I would start back with my lagging body part. So anytime I gave myself a, a break longer than three days in a routine that I was following, by going back and always starting the next the next day I lift again with the lagging yeah. body part as a focus, that really helped bring yeah, up no, that. Yeah, that's great. That's really good advice. You know, but some people do that. They do all the stuff. They do all the volume. They do the priority the priorities in terms of training that body part first and all that stuff. And like, it's not working. Like to, to, to be more clear, right? You can, you can squat, you can do a barbell squat and make it mostly about your quads. You could barbell squat and make it more about your glutes. You could bench press and make it more about your shoulders and triceps than your chest or vice versa. You can row and make it more about your biceps sure. and your forearms than your back and not realize it, right? Not realize it because that's the way you've been practicing that exercise for so long. And oftentimes what it requires, if you don't have a coach who can watch you and say, wait a minute, I know why your glutes aren't developing. Right. You're, this is, you're using all quad. You can't feel and see that yourself. Sometimes what you need to do is change the exercise. Let me do something else yeah. and really focus on feeling that muscle group, develop it a little bit, then go back to this other exercise. Oh my gosh, now all of a sudden I feel Yeah, sometimes working. you need to adjust things, like even your posture. Like you're not even yeah. getting alignment yet to be able to really uh, tap into that response from that muscle group that you're trying to uh, incorporate in that exercise. So if you go back and you look at the limitations of your range of motion and you, know, you might have to do some work to even – place yourself in proper position to then get it to respond. But uh, definitely taking the time to <clears throat> really slowly um, work and isolate that muscle group and get it to respond and then bring that over to the compound yeah. list. Now, being idea. honest, Justin, have you ever even gave a shit about this before? Have you ever? <laughs> no, seriously. Like, I'm being very honest right now. Like, I, I, I know I you understand. It. I know you understand what needs to be done. Yeah, he's like, a you, you understand guy, right? the science and yeah. stuff behind it. But have you ever cared enough to to put that much emphasis on a lagging bar? Have you, have you ever looked at yourself and go like, oh, I need to bring this up, and so I'm going to shape my programming around that? Or do you just kind of chalk it up as I don't give a fuck? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a fair question. I, I'm definitely more movement-focused in, in the broad scale of it. But 
um, if if I do see my myself and and I and I do some checkups in terms of like. Like I know that my chest hasn't got worked in in quite a bit, and so I'll put some emphasis there. For like, really, to me, it's more of a scale of like my pull ups like are really hard, and that and that right. pisses me oh, off, and so I'll go in that direction. Or, you know, it's really a more of a like what I'm not touching in terms of like um, what I'm not incorporating in my programming because all whether you do it or not, you do fall into patterns of what your sure. strengths are. Right? Sure, and so mm-hmm. I try to challenge myself to see like where the um, the areas I haven't been focusing on, but in terms of like something that's not responding, like I would, I would probably look at it differently more like, um, no, you said it perfectly. You, you are more performance bit. You yeah. look at it and go like, Oh, I'm not very strong here. Yeah. I need to address I'm weak these things. There, like that. Yeah. So I, I'm not pulling. I gotta, yeah. Yeah, focus on Yeah, that. I got to do more pulling or I, gotta right. do more or I yeah, notice that I'm losing some of my shoulder mobility. So also exactly. you incorporate yeah. more stuff like that. So it's you know, interesting. You know? I used to do this thing where, um, at some point I was like a great, to be honest, a sales tool. And I would have a potential client come in and if they were relatively, you know, kind of sharp and, uh, and I could explain things to them in a particular way, I used to do this example where I'd say, okay, you have forward shoulder, which is like 90% of anybody that I, I would meet that didn't work out, especially here in Silicon Valley, everybody working on the desk, right? And forward shoulder is exactly how it sounds, right? Shoulders come forward. And I'd say a good exercise to correct that is uh, a cable row, right? So I would sit down and I'd show them the cable row and I'd show them like what we're going to do is we're going to focus on pulling the shoulders down and back, work on what's called scapular retraction, strengthen the muscles that hold the shoulders back. Once those get stronger, you'll have better posture and I would bend it, I would explain all the benefits. Then I'd sit them down, I'd have them do the cable row and I'd put them in good position, have them do it right and they'd be like, oh my God, that feels really good. Then I'd take my hands off of them and I'd say do six more reps and we're talking lightweight, this is a lightweight. And then their form would slowly start to change and go back to their old recruitment pattern. Then I'd stop them and say, hold on, let me fix your form again. And I put them in position. They go, oh my God, I didn't even notice that my shoulders started doing that. I said, okay, although the cable row is an excellent exercise to correct uh, forward shoulder, you can still do a cable row in a way that makes forward shoulder wrong. And because you don't necessarily feel that yet, I'm going to be here correcting your form, making sure that you pull those shoulders back. But if I wasn't here, eventually what you would end up doing is pulling with this forward shoulder position, not really, and I'm exaggerating it, but it would be more like that. You would actually strengthen the forward shoulder. And so then here you are working out, you know, for six months. You're like, I'm doing this exercise to fix my posture. It's not working. My neck still hurts. What's going on? Yeah. And it's like, you're not, you're not doing this in a way to achieve the particular result you're looking for. And this is what happens with a lot of lagging body parts. People press, pull, squat, whatever, in a particular way to where that lagging body part is playing a secondary role. Well, you fall to your default patterns. And I think it's really like if you were to, if you don't have a coach, a coach is the best way to do this, to get that external feedback. But if you video yourself Mm. and you're objective about your form and your posture, it'll, it'll do wonders for you. Uh, if you if you are in that position where your where your muscle isn't responding properly, yeah. Totally. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.